Misfortune and Unranked to Diamond. We are playing Hydra Misfortune, Titanic Hydra that is. It's um, a very strong item on AD carries actually, you just need to have the... I mean, any AD carry can abuse this item if done correctly, but Misfortune has an especially easy time simply because she works with so many items so well. And uh, the build is quite interesting, but first of all we need to play this lane. Level 2 advantage, coming up or not. Rel not helping with the push, it's kind of awkward. Okay, we're level 2. That's all we need. Yeah, so the build, we go Hydra, um, Blade of the Rune King, Rage Blade. That's the quintessence of it. And she can buy so many utility items too. Black Cleaver, for example. Or you, pretty much anything you need, but the most standard would be Black Cleaver, Wits End. Let's be careful. Ezreal is quite safe against Misfortune. He can stay back if he needs to. I still have heal, it's all fine. I actually need to heal because minions will kill me. Okay. Good. Ezreal messed up big time. He played directly into our win condition, which is all inning, all inning him, whereas he needs to poke us. Okay, yeah, this wave should be fine. It should be frozen for long enough for us to return. Uh, never mind. Looks like we're forced to stay now. Yeah, it's, it's very awkward. Maybe we still need to base. Unless we want to get dived. Guess we're just dead. Yeah, essentially. What? Ah! I tried to save Rel, but I just died. Okay, that was pointless, but he flashed for this at least. Okay, that was a stupid mistake. <sighs> what a stressful early game already. Man, oh man. Anyway, at least we now return with our pickaxe, which is quite a big deal. Yeah, I, sh I could have, I should have just walked away and risked Rel dying there, instead of risking myself dying. It's a close call to make, though. I can buy nothing, actually. Huh. I would get my mana back, but might as well stay at this point. Alright, Ezreal double longsword tier, not too scary. We are still much stronger. Okay, I'm wasting way too much mana right now. One of the downsides of the build is that you have to be good with your mana usage. Very careful not to waste it. But we can farm with just autos for now. It's fine. Preemptively warding this bush so they can't cheese us with skill shots from in there or with a lane gank. I'm taking a little bit too much damage. Alright, jungler. Show me what you got. What is he doing? Moving back in as I stand there. 
Ready to auto queue auto. <laughs> this Ezreal is nuts. Complete tunnel vision. No regards for his own safety. We want to push one more. Come on. All right, all right. You're you're correct, of course. Staying here would be suicidal. Yep. <sighs> what an awkward position, though, for the wave. Let's just get double ruby crystal. I like it. Yeah, the faster we get our Titanic, the better, because again, the um, the pickaxe is the only real damage component, and having all these components without the upgrade of the item is a big power trough. The difference between those components and the full item is massive. So, as good as these defensive components are, we want to sit on them as short as possible. We want to upgrade them immediately, if we can. But yeah, this wave state is screwed. Doesn't matter, though, because had I stayed, I would have died, and the wave state would have still been screwed, so nothing I could have done. Okay. Good chip damage. And their damage on me matters not as much because I have so much HP to work with. Really? He lives with 1 HP? We still get him off the map, which is an advantage for us, but that kill would have been so much nicer, obviously. Careful. Don't want to take damage, you don't have to. We just farm with autos here, get some mana back and health back. Health through the little bit of lifesteal we have, and mana through not spending it and using the natural regeneration, of course. I'm still at 900 HP, Ezreal also at 900 HP, so even though it looks like I'm low, I'm actually not. We're actually equal in HP. <laughs> Always have to keep that in mind. Ah, oh, that was super unlucky. Unfortunate does not begin to describe. Alright, Rel is back. If she gets an all in, or if, if Ezreal wastes his jump, which is the one thing you need to look out for on Misfortune, as soon as he wastes his jump, you can actually use your ult against him. It's a big opening. The dream is Ezreal using Arcane Shift offensively, and then you can hard punish. We're there, we're there, it's fine. Keep farming. We have pretty good CS, actually. Syndra is looping around, but is she actually doing something? She might be. He has no jump. But we better just wait for the wait uh, wait for the wave to reset and then punish with a lane gank from Diana. This looks promising. Yeah. Worked all out in the end. Um we're close to getting our full item, aren't we? Couple more platings and minions, and we, we're there. Yeah, one more plating, and we have it. Nice, we got it. Actually, a very big deal. We return to lane insanely strong. Just make sure we get our back off without the enemy interrupting. 
Oh, this is so warded. Oh, look at this pathing. It's so warded. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I should have just ran earlier. So that doesn't happen. Because now I lose so much time. Ah. Jax, you okay? You okay, Jax? Unfortunately, he is okay. And Cho'Gath loses all of this min these minions. Oh, he's not okay. Nice, at least. So, yeah, um... Awkward, though. But I guess 0 and 4 speaks for itself, too. So now we have the massive Hydra power spike. Having good AD and dealing decent on hit damage, too. And they can't dive us, we're way too healthy. With all these components. Yeah, it gives our team plenty of time to punish. Get him. I don't care. Okay, maybe we should just go there. Maybe I'm just dead. I tunnel visioned on Melio. I could have played this infinitely better. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, that's my bad. I should have just pathed this way, path the safe way. I thought Melio was lower than he actually was. I thought flash over auto Q would just kill him, which it did not. Uh, but in this little fight, already 230 damage from Hydra bonus uh, on hits. Rel, could you stop ruining this wave? How about that? What an idiot. And misses the cannon minion too. Look at this. Support players who have no idea how to play their role. Insane. I thought this is Platinum 2 already, but I don't know. Maybe she's auto-filled, who knows. Even then, people should know about wave states at this point. Well... Walk in front of him so Ezreal cannot Q Rel. Go like this, pushes the wave too, gets Melio low. Yo, those Qs slap. You see, maybe we live. By having that much HP to work with, you can also just tower dive like that. It doesn't matter. Hydra has your back. Not even a problem. Okay, we get this, and this, and this, and we're looking good. We could also buy a full Vamp Scepter here, but Boots Upgrade also quite nice. Two people pushing bot lane, so this wave will crash very soon, which is why I path there immediately to catch the wave, push it past River, and then roam. Yeah, so it, it at least meets in the middle, which already justifies me going there. Okay, Jax wants to lane against me now. Hmm? We just outpush him. It's not even close. Alright, it's past river. Get this and row mid lane. Someone can answer Jax, but that someone should not be me. I'm way more useful in other parts of the map. There we go. He should be fine. Actually, we're not fine. Ew. Anyway, it doesn't matter. With Hydra, you can take risks. You have so much HP. Works. <laughs> he wasted flash too. And I got a shutdown on him. And now we're getting quite strong. With lifesteal too and overheal. We're getting incredibly tanky. Plus all the damage, you know. Oof, Ezreal and Jax combined O and 12. <laughs> quite nasty, isn't it?
In any case, all the attack speed will feed directly into our on hits. The DPS is crazy. Obviously, ult damage a little bit lower than with other builds. But you can just gun people down, run at them with overheal shield W combo. W protecting, or shield protecting your W movement speed. You cannot lose the movement speed passive unless you take direct damage. Which won't happen when you're shielded, you know. Worth. They overextended for this. Or did they? Or did I? Gotta lifesteal a little bit. Okay. Yeah, it worked. I pressure mid lane here. Just push the wave, get back to full HP. Well, not full full, but you know. Full enough. It's too early. Yeah, we have to base, get our mana back, get our health back. Should be fine. He just eats him. Yep. Alright. Getting closer to Blade. Another big power spike. And then Ginzo's Rage Blade is just crazy, of course. You will see. This is also one of those builds that can scale beyond five items because you can um, always sell boots for a zeal item. Keep your movement speed, also synergize with Rage Blade a little bit. He has no jump. Yeah. His E was on cooldown, so we used um, our R to force out his flash. All right, good play, good play. This rail doesn't know macro, but she for sure does know her micro. The poor guy. The poor Jax, my lord. Okay, let's push top lane and then base for some items. 1200 damage from Hydra. Not to mention all the tankiness it gives. Yeah, we shouldn't stay here. I got huge item, item upgrades coming up. This one and another pickaxe. The damage, the AD component is obviously the best for Misfortune. Because it buffs the passive damage, or old damage, everything. Alright. Ready to roll. There's a dragon on the map, so we should definitely go there. They're just getting crushed. Man. The poor lad. <laughs> no chance. Okay, that Drake is ours. Ah, almost dodged into it. Let's take care of mid lane. Baron's a little bit of a stretch, huh? Instantly push the wave. Okay, I mean, at least with this Misfortune build, this play is very risky, but at least we're not as vulnerable as we would be with other builds because we have so much HP. And if enemies approach, we can always ER. 
before they even get in range, but yeah, this is fine. Are we fine? I better heal that. It actually matters. Crazy. Okay, we overextended there. Two versus four, we just die. Yeah, I tried to help the team, but then I myself ended up overextended. Unfortunate does not begin to describe indeed. <sighs> oh well. But even in this 2v4 nightmare of a situation, we lived for quite a bit and dealt some damage. So in a fight that is not completely, I don't know, stupid, in a fight that you can take without feeling bad for it, this build just slaughters everyone. Looks promising, but also looks like they just escape. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, I push mid lane past River and then join the team. Oh, Ezreal's pushing, okay. He takes his while. He can't push fast. The chip damage you get on them with Q on a wave while they're trying to farm too is also quite nasty due to it proccing twice. With Titanic Hydra on each Q hat, uh, each Q hit, the first one and the second one. Guys, they just straight up ignored me, Leo being there, and all of a sudden I was one v three again. But also Hydra saving me once more. It's a very forgiving build. Okay. Almost got my Rage Blade. Are they still here? Are they rotating? Hmm. Right, I'll catch this next wave. Keep up the pressure so they can't really match my team. Wave deleted. He predicted me. Ah, he predicted my movement. No! I shouldn't have walked this unsafe a path. Just run. You're outnumbered. There's no points. There's no points. You have no follow up. You just die. What did she expect? Hard to tell. Actually, Victor and Silas are so dangerous, I want to get my wits end right now. The magic resist will... ...skew any duel with them heavily in my favor, because I have still the same lifesteal, but deal more damage and take less damage. Well, the, all they can do is stack one of those things. They can only deal more damage or take less damage, not both at the same time with one purchase. I mean, Zonya's maybe, but it's not on the same scale. I mean, mine also scales with lifesteal, both of them. Both the dealing more and taking less scale with lifesteal. Just logically speaking, there's no game mechanic, it's just pure logic. Drake spawning, yep, we just take that. You're already getting to high amounts of attack speed. But you don't need to worry about overcapping. You won't always have your Rage Blade at full stacks and you don't always have your W active. So it's not a big deal. Okay. Just keep mid lane pushed.
which is quite easy. Also, the more attack speed you have, the less you need your mana. Because pushing the wave goes effortless, even without using spells, or with just using W. Alright, that works. Just walk the safe way and keep mid lane pushed. There's no reason to get fancy here. Nasty. Okay. We're just running through, huh? Maybe heal saves her, maybe not. Alright, clean ace. Maybe we can end. Maybe not. Not sure. One is alive, but we're too many people. It's just Melio. <laughs> he died before my ult went off. 2k damage from Hydra. Solid. Yeah, easy game. Let's go next. Misfortune and unranked to Diamond. We're playing a Titanic Hydra build I've crafted. I think it's very strong. But first of all, we need to deal with this lane. Lucian plus Ivern. I'm not sure what to expect from an Ivern support. But yeah, quite simple strategy here. We just get our minions and hit level 2 and then hopefully go from there. Yeah, that's a good love tap. Especially with Melio passive. Okay, we have no chance at getting level 2 first. Actually, we actually got level 2 first. It's alright, both of us level 2. We need to be a little bit careful, but I don't think Lucian Ivern is that da uh, difficult or dangerous a combo um, compared to other supports for Lucian. Nice, very good trade. Yeah, those trades with Melio Shield are kind of heat. Get these minions. Get this one. The caster will be next. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we just fight in her. Huh? I still have heal if I need to. But that Lucian Ignite was kind of nasty. Our jungler on his way. Yeah. That's a good one. Get Ivern's flash too. Would be nice to push this in, but beggars can't be choosers, huh? We know that Ivern flashed. Do we stay? Maybe we low key do. Yeah, I knew it. Which is precisely why I put down that ward. So we wouldn't die to, uh, to that. Okay. I think we're at, uh, right now in Platinum 2 on our journey to Diamond. So we are almost there. <laughs> Won't be long. What is her problem? She's just sitting here. Okay, we base at this point. I don't care. This is freezeable, but it's alright. Um, we're getting camped, so we will lose farm for it. Uh, we got our pickaxe base, which is always nice, because it's the only offensive component we can buy. So, uh, yeah. Looking good. The other ones aren't as... This, this Tiamat is a little bit awkward, but the Ruby Crystal is also very strong in lane, actually, which is a big setting point of the item. You're just so hard to all in for the enemy, which is very important against the Lucian, for obvious reasons. 
Um, and yeah, once you finish the item, it does so much damage. It pushes for you. It does. It, it really, it's a good quality of life item for the early game and for AD carries in general. Um, you yeah, will let this come. This wave will push towards us mercilessly. Yeah, so the, the plan is we go Hydra plus um, Blade of the Ruined King, and then we amplify those two on hit effects with Rage Blade. We're not going any crit items for um, no anti synergy with our ults. Okay, he did not fall for that one, unfortunately. But Lucian is missing a ton of CS here. Let's thin out a little bit, actually. Clean. All right. Um, almost even in CS. Lucian got a better base, of course, because he based later with more gold. Yeah, but it's fine. We're still strong. And again, Lucian is an early game champion. He has to make stuff happen right now, or else he won't be as useful anymore. Let's see. It's not gonna work, huh? Okay, yeah, I just lost it. I won't use any mana here. This is like the one thing that makes this build not beginner friendly is you you really need to manage your mana carefully. Okay, good trade, good trade. Looking strong. Okay, Vi is here too. I just stay here, match Lucian. Yeah, my team's fine. And by pushing, I prevent Lucian from rotating too. That's very good for us. Okay, team's on the Drake, so I'm not staying bot lane looking for a fight because that puts them in an awkward spot where they're kind of in a lose-lose lose situation. They either don't help me or they don't take the dragon, which is awkward. So I just join. Also gives me a stack for Legend Bloodline. Yeah, we're looking good here. <clears throat> in difficult lanes, you can also buy an early Vamp Scepter with this, by the way. It all, uh, already works towards your Blade of the Ruined King. So you don't need to feel, feel bad for having it, but it of course delays your full Titanic Hydra power spike, which is a big one. So only when absolutely necessary, I would recommend. Oh god. Messed up my minions. We could base, we could also not base, doesn't matter. I don't mind basing here. Yeah, let's go like this. Has such a good base. Two ruby crystals for the extra tankiness. Yeah, Lucian cannot all in us here right now. Gives Melio plenty of time to apply his shields and stuff in fights. Because if they can't burst you down, then the enchanter is having the time of his life. Okay, so we lost some minions for that base, but so will Lucian. Yeah, pickaxe plus dagger is good enough for pushing the lane. Okay. Push this in. I think this is good. It lets the bushes peter out? Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, Rome here is fine, I guess. 
Oh, hello there. Yeah, maybe I didn't even need all those summoners. You see how tanky I was. <coughs> Vi had almost no chance of killing me there. <coughs> but yeah, this is why I like defensive component items early, because people focus you so much. And people are very bad at adapting. If they are used to focusing the AD carry all the time, they will do so even if you have two ruby crystals and the squishy enchanter is next to you, which they could focus instead. So this will very likely work in your games too. I'm basing here, don't want to miss out on tempo advantage. Uh, damaging that wave is very bad for us. Let's hope it doesn't matter. <clears throat> 1700 health now. Getting so buff here. Lucian with a full Storm Razor, okay. He has strong all-in damage, but it should not be a problem. Not with Melio by our side. And we also got upgraded boots, which is worth quite a bit. Oh, misclick. I wanted to hit the cannon minion, of course. That was very unfortunate. Unfortunate does not begin to describe, in fact. Get him. Okay, that's their heal. <sighs> Alright. Put this in and uh, go from there. Actually, I want to ult the next wave and then recall for maximum value. Get a plating too. Yeah, what are you gonna do to me? I'm a tanky misfortune. Rampage. I'm just ulting this wave. Get this under tower fully and then recall. So they're busy with this right now. Alright, now we just save for our Titanic Hydra, the big purchase. Right now we deal, we are a little bit in a power trough, similar to that of Tear of the Goddess, but just not as bad, because these components are obviously way stronger during actual fights compared to 400 mana. <laughs> but yeah, once we upgrade to this, our damage goes through the roof, then we can heavily brawl. Oh god. Yeah, of course this makes last hitting under tower a little more difficult, but you can work around that. Just need to anticipate more. Where the tower is shooting. And everything. Okay, I would have enough money for Hydra, it's actually low-key worth basing for that, but I want to also keep my base timing synchronous with my support, so none of us gets caught out of position alone. Okay, got this under tower, I can now base for my big power spike. There are no platings to contest, so staying has minimal reward. And basing is such a huge... Oh, no, 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 no. Maybe I should have cancelled. Hard to tell. Okay, he's fine. Yeah, Medio's disengage is not too bad, especially if he hits his um, football thing. Okay, never mind. Uh, we have to go next. <laughs> Misfortune and unranked to diamond. We are playing Titanic Hydra. And the item is so much stronger than people give it credit for on AD carries. It saves your lane phase, 
since you cannot get abused by enemy jungle and mid once you have those health components. And the damage in the mid and late game is still quite crazy, and the health matters there too. But uh, first of all, I want to play this lane. Good. Decent trade actually was quite bad. <laughs> you could hit way too hard by Jin's fourth shots and melee or stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay though. Doesn't matter too much. Ugh, dodged into it. Need my health potion. Okay, good job, Garen. Let's look for a bounce. Ah, didn't get it. Alright. Rakan gets the cannon. Need to give up some minions to not get fourth shot there. But we lost one caster. It's fine. Could have been worse. Yeah, awkward trades. He went in right as my Q was on cool oh, this quick. On cooldown. So I couldn't really do anything there. Trading against Melio in general is quite tedious. We just need to wait for level 6 and then do our thing. But then Melio has, still has his cleanse, right? With his own ultimates. Maybe I just ban Melio next game so I don't have to see him in today's stream anymore. Literally in every single lobby. going. Okay, we don't kill him. But yeah, the all in on Melio was quite nice. And level 6, I mean, Melio can only cleanse if he himself is not crowd controlled. So if you get the engage on him later on, then we're looking quite good. And right here, we just keep farming, save our mana, save our health. Because as long as Jin is here, there's no reason to base. We would just be giving him free farm if we do that. Diana on her way. Come on, do it. Jin flash. Just couldn't reach him. Okay, but this is our opportunity now to push in this wave and take it from there. Please just base. <laughs> He can't hold this. Okay, Lee Sin is here too. Yeah, yeah, we have to go. Alright, it's a good base though, because we get this, and this, and this. <clears throat> now we can fight extremely efficiently. They have, especially since Jin is so heavily focused on burst damage in lane, he can't ever hope to burst us down in one all in with the Ruby Crystal, and with just Pickaxe he deals so much damage. We're looking very good here. And of course, we're trying to finish this Hydra as fast as possible. Because the completed item just has so much payoff. Just want to farm this wave without any trouble. Cancelled my auto. Hmm. 
Hmm. It's okay. Damage is not that bad. This is bad, though. The least didn't gank at the worst possible time. Come on, Katarina. This looks like a very promising fight. Because they overextended two now. I don't think we can catch in time. Yeah, yeah. Unlucky. Wait, actually they got the dive. Never mind, never mind. They did overextend after all. So, I cover mid lane for now. Yeah, sure. Should have moved there earlier. That's my bad. Slight misplay. Annie cannot all in me through my giant spells. So we're, we're free to do this, yeah. In any other, with any other build, the AD carry would need to worry that Annie just turns and kills. But with this one, not the case. And Annie is dead for quite a while, so just take this wave. Take full advantage. Dead for three more seconds. I take one plating, then recall. Okay, whatever he was thinking. Apparently not much. <laughs> you can ping my items. That's fine by me. Let's go like this. Of course, finishing boots is tempting, but I want my giant slayer. No, what's the name? Uh, the opposite, Titanic Hydra. Uh, as fast as possible. So you want to keep working towards that. Next base, 1125. We should get that. Okay. Team was fine. So good decision I Okay. <laughs> Actually quite funny, but still a good decision I took care of the wave. And again, there's no shots the enemy can kill me in one rotation. Ah, oh, she wasted my cannon minion. Actually I could just base for my item, it's fine. I don't mind. It's a big power spike. Positively massive. There we go. Get all our mana back too. Yeah, this game looks doomed for them. What are they gonna do about it? 0-3, oh 0-2, and 1-3, oh and 1-2. One and one and they look kinda done. They can easily hold the wave 1v2 at this point. It doesn't matter. Rakan could just start roaming. I don't care. Would be nice if he was here because our combo is so strong. But you're so autonomous with this build. You demand a lot of attention from the enemy. Alright, keep pushing. Keep pressuring. damage. Maxed Q with Hydra proc. Alright, let's see. That's quite nasty, huh? I feel bad for them, Loki. We can keep pushing with this Herald now.
Yeah, let's just do it. The Hydra passive works on towers too, which makes you much better at pushing than it looks like. Than it would seem. Yeah. There we go. I'm giga rich too. But pressuring Drake is for sure the right call. It's the free objective on the map. Take the free stuff, win the game, you know. Alright. We don't have much attack speed yet. But this will change very quickly. One base and then we have all of it essentially. Plus lifesteal, unlocking overheal fully. Do I even want to base here? I still have my old cooldown. I want to use it. Okay, I thought this was a bigger all-in. Anyway, I want to base no matter what, so who cares. Okay, had to bail out Katarina here before we could do anything else. Actually, no, let's, let's just push one more wave. There's no way I'm getting punished for this. I have 1,500 health still. There we go. Take this, take this, take this. And now we're massively strong. Upgrading boots, getting lifesteal in addition to our rune here. Plus a bunch of attack damage. I want to get in a proper fight though. To get some nice Hydra procs. I want to see the big number. Works. Okay, careful. Don't get kicked by the sin. That's the important part. <laughs> that one Q kind of slapped. Let's give him another. Should've just pressed R. I thought he would die. Okay, and they surrender too. Well, this build's just too strong, isn't it? But, um, yeah, for a different misfortune build, click the link on your screen right there.